Hello everyone, today is Wednesday the 20th of September. I think I got a green light going this week, so that's kind of fun. But it's Wednesday, you know what that means? It means it's time for comics again. All right, thanks for tuning into this week's episode of Comics Again, the show where I take a couple minutes out of your day to tell you all the new number ones coming your way this week. So let's get down to it and see what's going on over there at DC Comics. Those fine folks at DC Comics have two number ones for you this week. The first one we have on our list is the all new Wonder Woman. Yes, it's Wonder Woman issue number one. Tom King is taking his hand over to the uh, Diana. He's going to hang out with Diana and do a new Wonder Woman book. So check it out. It's Wonder Woman number one with a new villain. And Jon Stewart is back in the Green Lantern Corps, this time with Green Lantern War Journal. Find out what's going on with Jon. He thought he was out, but looks like they pulled him back in. All new Green Lantern issue number one. War Journal, not just for Punishers anymore. Over there at Marvel Comics, they've taken two great tastes and combine them together to make one new thing. I'm talking about Nightcrawler as the uncanny Spider-Man. Yeah, there's an all new Nightcrawler Spider-Man comic book. I know I'm behind on both of these things, both Nightcrawler and Spider-Man, but what? what's going on here? Gotta check it out. It's the uncanny Spider-Man issue one. Steve Rogers is back as Captain America in Captain America number one, written by fan favorite J. Michael Straczynski. This one will be one to check out if you are a fan of Cap Captain America. Star Wars Dark Droids D-Squad is here to give you a look at the Dark Droids from the droids perspective. Find out what happens when R2-D2 and Chopper run into each other and uh, get into an argument. It's all in here in Dark Droids D-Squad, issue one. And holy crap, is someone reading my dream journals out there? Because like they took two of my favorite things in like the world and combined them into one thing with Predator vs. Wolverine issue number one. It is here today. It is actually out. Each issue will be taking Wolverine and the Predator and making them verses throughout all different parts of Wolverine's life. So check it out. It's Wolverine vs. Predator or Predator vs. Wolverine issue one. <laughs> what? What is even going on? I can't wait to read this. Hashtag Predator is on. And then coming away from the other publishers that are not Marvel or DC, we got a new book from Image called Hexagon Bridge. Looks to be a little trippy, a little science fiction-y, a little bit adventure-y. Hexagon Bridge is here to, uh, you know, mess your brain up a little bit. Look at that, it's kind of like Inception on that cover. If you're a fan of those Archie horrors, the Chilling Adventures books, well, there's a new one for you. It's Madam Satan's Hell on Earth. Just in time for the Halloween season to get kicked off, you can read an all new Chilling Adventures, Madam Satan, issue one. And from Boom Studios, the team that brought you the many deaths of Layla Starr, Ram V and Philly Bandrade, are back together to bring you rare flavors. It's a Rakshasa, demonic folk theory thing from India that loves Anthony Bourdain and is saddened by the loss of the food critic, adventurer, writer, just all around grump that I love so much much like this guy does, and he wants to become the next one. So check this thing out, it's rare flavors. It's gonna be awesome. These guys have made amazing comics in the past. That Many Deaths of Leo Star is so good, we love it so much. I cannot wait to read this one, and I can't wait for you guys to read this one. And if you haven't read Leila Star, please do. We usually have plenty of it. I usually have it like right here, but I don't have it right here today. But soon, we'll have it again soon. Rare Flavors is out now, get it. And in the realm of trades and graphic novels this week, I have a couple for you that I think might be worth your time checking out. First off, a indie comics graphic novel by internet darling Kate Leff is here to tell you or remind you all about what it was like to be a mall goth back in the 90s and early 2000s. Check it out, mall goth is here, Kate Leff's semi-autobiographical story about being a mall goth. This book can be yours for $14.99 and it seems to be an adorable must read. So check it out, mall goth. Friend of the store, Declan Shelby's old dog is now being collected into one, well, the first arc is being collected into one nice graphic novel for 10 bucks, featuring the stuff from the Image uh, Anniversary Anthology that was coming out, which was our first little glimpse at the old dog himself here. But now, the entire story, the first arc anyway, which ends on a heck of a doozy, if you haven't checked this thing out, is now available for 10 bucks in one graphic novel. Check it out. Old Dog is here. This book is great. Issue four blew my mind, and then issue five was... I didn't see that coming. So check this thing out if you haven't read it yet. Declan Shalvey's Old Dog. Yo, what's up, Deck? I don't think I said hey to you earlier in this video. But what's up? Here it is, Old Dog, available now. 
And then lastly, it was just Batman Day the other day, so you probably got enough Batman out of your system. But there's one other thing that I like that's now available in paperback, so if the hardcover was a little bit of a no-no, make this a yes, yes. It's Jux, One Dark Night. Yeah, Batman has to get across all of Gotham City with a guy who's got electrical powers, but then the city gets shut down and all the gangs come out and Batman's sort of on his heels the entire time trying to get this prisoner transferred from one prison to the next. And all things can and will go wrong when that happens. The Batman One Dark Knight by Jock, written and drawn by him. Can be yours for $19.99. It's the whole thing. And it's a one of those oversized black label books, so you know anything can happen. All right, that's it for me this week. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Comic Scan. I'll be back here to do this again, just like I always do every Wednesday morning. So I'll be back here next week with another one of these with all the other new number ones and things that I think maybe you should be taking a look at. Tune in on Friday with Casey when she talks about things that are evergreens and stuff like that that maybe you haven't checked out that we love and uh, wanna make sure you do eventually read. If you can't shop with us in store, please shop with us online at bravenewworldscomics.com for all of your Brave New Worlds comics related needs. I am gonna go uh, catch up on all those comics that I've so woefully fallen, fallen behind on. It's too many comics. See you guys soon. Go read some comics. Thank you very much. Till next time.